everyone, it's Brittany Valadez, and thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you're watching this video, you want to find out five ways that you can encourage a special guy in your life. Whether you're dating, married, or single, this video is perfect for you. Now, if you're single, you're probably thinking, wait, I don't have a guy. Like, how does this apply to me? Well, this is going to prepare you for when you do start dating and when you eventually get married. This can also, some of these, I believe, pretty much maybe all of them can be used on your brother, your dad, your friend. So, hey, you can start putting into practice already. All right, you guys, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really, really appreciate your subscriptions. Also, if you want to be notified each time that I upload a video, make sure to hit the notification bell as well. As always, you can follow me on social media. You'll find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, pretty much anywhere online. And I will put all those links in the description box as well. All right, let's get started. Just like women, men like to feel appreciated as well. All right, sometimes if you're not in the mood to make your man feel appreciated or that special guy in your life and you're thinking, oh, I'm, he gets on my nerves, I'm so upset. What do we have to do? We have to be kind to our enemies. Remember, the Bible does say that. <laughs> All right, so here's the first tip. First things first. Number one, allow him to be a guy. Now, my dad is known for his quotes, and one of the good quotes that he always says is, there's more to being a man than being born that way. And that is very true. Ladies, we all appreciate gentlemen, we really do. So we need to allow our guys to have the opportunity to be gentlemen. That means something as simple as opening the doors, paying for your meals. Now, I know many of us are independent women and we make our own money and we can do this and that, and that's great. But we also have to allow the guy to be guys. Make sure that you allow him to pay at least for the first few dates and then you can start offering. I'd say after like the second or third, the, after like the third or fourth date, around there you can start offering. Um, because you know, it can become a financial burden, but a lot of the times the guy wants to pay for you. He wants to take you out. If he's asking you out on a date, let him pay. You may think, oh Brittany, it's just allowing a guy to pay for a date. Yeah, but you know God created men to be the leader of the home. When you're allowing them to take initiative and to do what men are called to do from the very beginning, which is means take the lead, you are actually preparing them for who they marry, their future spouse. So you may not actually marry the guy you're going on a date with, but when you allow him to do such the simple things as, you know, doing what with the small thing that will turn into one day leading a household, you're actually preparing him for for his future wife and of course for his future children. Trust me, you know the little things do matter because they eventually turn into big things. Number two, compliment him when he does something that you like. A lot of times we women can be negative, ugh, I don't like what he's wearing, ugh, he's annoying, ugh, he's this, he's this, he's that, whatever. But when you like something that a guy does, make sure to compliment him. Just like we women like receiving compliments about how we look or other things about how nice you are or whatever, mostly how we look. We guys love it when we compliment them on things that they do. Guys, if you're watching, I'm gonna throw out a few compliments that I like about you. I love your sense of humor, I love when you're manly, manly, and I love, most importantly, when you're godly, when you can read your Bible, when you can take me to church, when you can do all of that like fun stuff um, and also mature stuff. I appreciate that. Don't we appreciate that, women? We probably definitely do. Yeah, we totally do. Compliments equal encouragement. If you see something that a guy is doing that bothers you, instead of keeping, instead of telling him over and over again, oh, I hate when you do this, oh, I hate when you do that, why don't you encourage him on the things that he does do well, the things that you do like? When you encourage him, he's, it's gonna click in his head, oh, she likes when I do this. Okay, therefore, I'm gonna keep on doing that. Always wanna bring that positive reinforcement to him because guys like to be encouraged. Like that's that's part of us being a girl. You know that, that good quote that, I love this quote, it said, men may be the head, but the women are the neck. Mm -hmm. Kinda true. Number three. Pray for him. Now this one is certainly gonna be the most important one on our list. When I say pray for him, I mean don't just, oh, when he's things are going good. I mean when things are going bad, when you hate him, when you can't stand him, when he's treated you very poorly, pray for him. Because you'll realize that when you pray for your guy, you're also kind of healing yourself. If a guy does something really bad for you and to you and it hurts you, when you pray for him, even when you don't want to, you're lifting him up to the Lord, but you're also taking your emotions and you're saying, God, I really can't stand what this guy did to me. But by praying for him, it's kind of breaking down those barriers and it's allowing me 
to be humble. And it's also allowing God to work in your heart because you're taking the time to pray for your enemies because sometimes guys can be really annoying and do stuff that hurts us. And at that moment, they are our enemies. But you know, we can do the same thing to them. So of course, you always wanna pray for him. And if there's something, there's a problem, if he's working hard at work and he's stressed out because of work or his friends or schoolwork or whatever, when we're silently praying for him behind, behind closed doors, we're lifting him up. And that's, that's important. We always wanna encourage our guys. And the best way to encourage the guys is through prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Number four. Now I mentioned before complimenting him on things he does, but you should also compliment him on what he wears. Now I find it easy, I find it easy as a girl that when a guy compliments me on how I look or what I'm wearing, it's encouraging. Like we girls like to be encouraged by our looks. And of course other things as well. Now when it comes to a guy, when they take that time and effort to get dressed up on a date, to wear those nice pants with um, you know, a nice shirt or whatever, and to us it shows effort. They took the time to get ready for us. So when they do something really good, of course we should compliment them. Or for me personally, I love when a guy wears cologne. So if a guy has a really nice cologne, like it's almost instinct for me to be like, oh, that smells good, you smell really nice. Like, I love cologne, it's awesome. So make sure to compliment him on things that he does and things that he wears, how he looks. It's very important. Encouragement. Number five, be his biggest cheerleader. Sometimes guys are under a lot of stress, just like us girls are. And sometimes, hey, they may want a promotion at work, or maybe they didn't complete their degree and they wanna go back to school and they wanna work on that. Or you never know, there's something, there's something that every guy has that they may need encouragement on. You wanna let them know that they can do it. You also wanna let them know that you're gonna be there to help them get through anything that they that you can help them with. Because, you know, they always say, you know, it's two is better than one, because it is. All of us know whether in a relationship or not, when we get help on anything, it takes the load off of our shoulders, and sometimes when we feel that we can't do it, we all of a sudden feel like we have this superhuman strength and we can just do it. So if I can get, recommend anything, please be your guy's biggest cheerleader. Whether that means baking him cookies or helping him study for an exam or just saying, hey, I know you got like seven errands to do today. I can probably do two of those for you. Let me help you out. That's gonna be great because you wanna help them out just as a time when you need help, they can come and help you. And it's not because you just want to get something in return, it's because you actually like that person and you want to help them. All right, girls, I really hope you found these tips very encouraging. I want to know, are there any of these tips that you think you're going to put into practice? And have you maybe done any of these tips yourself? Do you have a story to tell that maybe your guy like really, really appreciated tip number two? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to know each time I'm uploading a video, make sure to hit the notification bell as well. You can also follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can find me, I am there. So make sure to follow me. Until next time, I'm Brittany Valadez, and I'll see you later. God bless you.